Hi, it's Pavel with a C++ homework from the book. Uh, starting out with C++ uh, from control structures to objects. And today we'll be coding a little game. Uh, the program will generate a random number and ask the user to guess what the number is. And if the guess is higher, then the uh, program should display you know, too high. Try again. If it's if the guess is lower, then uh, you know, too, low, too low. Try again. And the program should use a loop that repeats until the user correctly guesses the random number. So basically the computer generates a number and will guess what it is. And the computer let us know whether it was too high or too low. And we'll guess again until we guess it correctly. All right, so in order to use a random number, we need a few libraries, such as uh, CS. that CSTV library and uh, one more we need the time uh, C time because uh, our random number it will be generated based on the system time so we need uh, these libraries so our uh, random number uh, that's our integer that the computer will generate an integer that the user number that will be the guess that the user will make now we need to loop until you know uh, we guess it right so we can do a boolean uh, win and we'll initialize it to false so we will loop until win becomes true so uh, let's generate the, the number first and uh, oh, first we need uh, the seed number for the uh, you know for the random number generator so unsigned uh, seed and it will equal time okay so this is our seed number for the random generator random number generator so uh, we can now generate the number and we will assign that number, a random number equals, let's do one, uh, one through 10, just because uh, I don't wanna you know, spend too much time trying to guess the number, but it could be any number, but uh, I'm going to do one to 10. So there you have it. So now we have a random number based on our uh, time otherwise you know if you just try to use the, uh, the generator you would get the same number all the time uh, it wouldn't be random at all so this is the, how you generate the random number and now I have actually assigned that random number from 1 to 10 to our random number integer all right so now we have the number and now we can guess it so uh, while uh, Actually, now like the first time we'll we'll go into we'll go into instruct the user to guess it. We'll simply say, uh, I don't know, I am thinking of a number. Can you guess what it is? All right, and um, the user will enter the number. Uh, I'll put a new line. So the user will enter the number and we will store it in our uh, user number. That's the number that the user entered. Now we can compare the user number with the random number that the computer generated. And we'll be comparing it until the user guesses it right. So while uh, our Boolean win uh, is, is false so while win equals false uh, or we can just do just like that while not win uh, we'll do the comparison and display whether the number was high or too low so while not win if uh, user number uh, is less than random number then we will display 
uh, too low try again and we will get on a new line we will do the input from the user again which would be the new user number user number so, so if the user number that he guessed is uh, less than the generated number we'll display that the number is too low and accept a new number now else if uh, the user number is greater than the random number then we will display that it's too high so see out too high try again and uh, we will go and uh, tr uh, try it again on the new line so there we go capturing the user number the new user number else so if the user number is not less and if it's not greater then obviously it's equal so we have a winner so else so this is a winner mm, we can simply output c out congratulations you guessed the correct number and line and over here we'll do the win boolean equals to true so we stop looping win equals to true all right um I think it might be all. Let's see what we get when I run it. Okay, I'm thinking of a number. What is it? I'll try with five. Too low, uh, so maybe six. There you go. Congratulations, you guessed the correct number. That was quick. Now for uh, the you know the bugging purposes, I'm going to actually output the random number just so I see what it is. So I can, you know, make those guesses uh, and compare whether I'm getting the correct uh, the correct number. So I'm thinking of a number. Guess what it is? I'll say five. And see, the number is actually one. So it's uh, too high. I'll, I'll try four. It's still too high. Three too high. Two too high. And one. Congratulations! You guessed it. So uh, uh, we can enhance it a little bit. We can, uh, for example, we can do something like uh, integer number of attempts. So we can capture that and see how many times you know we guessed. So we start with zero. Now, if we guessed it here, then our uh, number of attempts plus plus will add one attempt to it. If you guessed it uh, too high, again, the attempt will be a uh, number of attempts plus plus. But if you guessed it correctly, uh, then we don't add anything because we already have the last number of attempts. And do we actually add? Uh, hold on a second. We, uh, we added here, obviously. We added, added here. So uh, this would be the last attempt. So we still should uh, add it. Number of attempts uh, plus plus. So over here we will display congratulations. You guessed the correct number. And on the bottom, uh, under that, we will see. We will display it took you uh, number. Of attempts, attempts. Okay, so uh, online. So let's see if that's gonna work. Okay, I'm thinking of a number. Guess what it is? I'll guess five. 
the computer gets two. You can see that it gets two, so I, it's too high. This is my first attempt. This was my first attempt. So I'll do four, my second attempt, three, my third attempt, and now I'll guess it correctly. So that's my fourth attempt, and it is correct. Congratulations. You guessed the correct number, which was obviously four, I mean two, and it took you four attempts. So that is correct as well. So, uh, yeah, it's fairly simple, fairly straightforward. So uh, I hope it helped you, and I'll see you next time. Take care.